still a rat. Highly disturbing. Yeah, I always go this way. You're kind of supposed to drop down and then do do it. I guess it's not supposed to, but it feels like that's what they expect you to do. But I, I, I never do that. Never, never. Where's that other one? We saw another one earlier. So I recently um, found out about this. Uh, I, I found her on YouTube first, but I found out this. Um... Oh God. Twitch channel. Uh, sweet Anita, and she's like a streamer who has like pretty severe Tourette's. Um, and Tourette's isn't something I've known anything about. I think most people, like they, they've heard like bullshit and like, you know, comedy and like media, but like not a lot of people really know anything about it. At least I haven't. Um... Which is like a streamer that 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 has it, um, and she like puts herself out there, um, despite having like very, pretty severe, very noticeable Tourette's and like a lot of ticks and stuff. And I thought that was, I yeah, get over there, kind of inspiring. Um, to me, I, I guess as someone with like autism, ADHD, depression. Stuff like that. I don't care if he's playing Warframe. Fuck Warframe. I'm sorry, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what Warframe is. It's like it's like an online competitive thing. <laughs> I think it's free. But yeah, um I don't know, I thought that was cool. I just kinda took an interest in her stuff. Recently, just the last like day or two. Um, she has like this playlist on YouTube for like frequently asked questions, you know, about like Tourette's and her experience with it. It was a little late. Ooh. Scary, what a scary guy. I want the club for this next one. Um, so it, it, I don't know. It was it was interesting because, like I said, I, I haven't known anything about it before. I don't think you can backstab these guys. Oh my god, I really don't feel like I'm doing a lot of damage anymore. And. Uh, I don't know, she comes off as just like a normal kind of person. She just like has Tourette's. Um, but she's like raising this like awareness. Like, like above all, she like she's... Just like a streamer who plays games, but... Um, because of how like severe and noticeable her Tourette's is, you can really... She kind of has that, like, mentioned in the title of all her, her uh, like, streams and stuff. Like, that's a major thing. What? 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 I did not know that. It's kind of disconcerting. He learns something new every day. Uh, every every playthrough. <laughs> I'm 
Dark Souls is one of those games you learn something every time you play it. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's it's depth. That's why the game's still fucking replayable. That's why this is my eleventh fucking playthrough. Because it is that deep. Um, yeah, I think one of the main things I liked about her was, other than the Tourette's thing, which I just, I don't know, I thought was interesting, as someone who is, is pretty fascinated with, uh, psychology, um, I've never seen that, I don't, I haven't, I've never known anything about it, so it was, like, alerting, and that was really cool, but I think one of the main things was that she just kind of, does her thing, just, like, her having Tourette's isn't, like, the entire point. You, I got, I got trapped by these guys in there in my first playthrough. Um, like, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that it is, it is even the point, like, she... She she she's got a lot like I said, like because of how noticeable it is, she she like it's it's kinda it's the catch that draws you into her her stuff, you know, but it's it's not like the entire point. Um But I I guess just being that comfortable putting yourself out there to to a degree sort of sort of vulnerable to like people on the internet can be assholes about a lot of stuff and extremely like not understanding um, and uh Distracted by love line. I, I guess just the un like the unashamedness of like who she is. Um, and I don't think it's just her, but it's it's been in my mind more recently because of of her uh, of her stuff um, because of her thing. Broken straight sword, great. I don't know what I expected. You know, like she just she just embraces it, you know, and goes with it, and it kind of made me think a bit about um, my own self, and, and having like a desire to put myself out there to some degree, um, in some in some form, because I'm I have autism. You know, I have ADHD, and those... Yeah, ADHD is not really as much, but autism by a lot of people is not super well understood, one might say. Fucking King Jeremiah. <laughs> I don't even remember this guy. It's kind of hard to miss a face like that, though. <laughs> Ew. What's he doing? Oh, God. Get out of here. He's probably not even actually a king. He's just styling himself as one. Just like Stannis Baratheon, that traitor. This is the Red Woman. <laughs> <laughs> She really let herself go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that was funny. That was a funny thing I said. 
Anyway, yeah, I have depression, I have ADHD, I have autism, um, I'm poly, like polyamorous as well. So just to list off a bunch of things. Um, and I think it's depression, ADD, or ADHD, uh, are, are a little, a little more understood and a little less, like, people are less weird about them, but polyamory, and I think definitely autism, autism in particular is not something people are open about. You've probably seen a lot of people online or met more people than you know with autism. Um, like one of my friends is a streamer and I don't think he talks about it. Um, and you wouldn't be able to tell by watching. Uh, in the same way I think a lot of people wouldn't be able to tell by watching my stuff. Like I don't, I, I doubt anyone would watch a video of mine and think like, hey, this guy's autism. <laughs> maybe ADHD, maybe that, but maybe not autism. Um, 12,000? Do I want to bother? Um, I don't know. They're, they're just not super well understood, but she's... You know, Anita's kind of out there, like, raising awareness about her thing and talking about it without it being, like, the whole thing with her. I have 1,100 health now. Awesome. Um... You know, just kind of being a person who just has Tourette's, you know, she games and stuff, and it's it's normal. And it kind of... I don't know, I, I guess I guess in a way it, it feels like something I would like to do as well with, with being... Um, with having autism, with having depression, ADHD, being, being polyamorous, being bisexual. Some of those things being better understood than others. Or more talked about. Like I think it's it's a lot easier to be open about being bisexual, or uh, depending on where you live, and about having ADHD, but not so much about having autism, um, or being polyamorous for that matter, because uh, people have a tendency to misunderstand and putting yourself out there like that and talking about it. Um, invites people who don't understand or, or refuse to understand in a sense um, and that's not most people but there are a lot of people like that and it invites them to um, fuck with you <laughs> you know and I, I think public figures certain entertainers um, artists um, you know streamers in, in the same kind of branch um, I have a lot of respect for people who, who are able to do that, like Sweet Anita. Um, because it requires a kind of, a certain degree of vulnerability, in, in a sense. You know, and it, it makes people who, who are also, you know, I imagine other people who also have Tourette's, um, in that case, or maybe somebody watching me who also has autism would feel that way about, about me, um, or whoever, but it, it makes other people who have those things or believe in those things, whatever the fuck they are, uh, more comfortable. You know, like I felt a lot better about being um, an atheist, I, basically, uh, after watching like um, some of the things that Stephen Fry and uh, Ricky Gervais have said about it. Um, and they came across as like really nice genuine intelligent people that I, I found inspiring and it's it's people like those that make you kind of more comfortable with who you are you know what I mean um, and you need people like that to to start making that that kind of change I'm gonna die stop <laughs> Oh my god, I have that much stability. I have that much stamina and stability and I can actually handle it. Come here. Do it. God. Um, but you need those people out there talking about it and making other people who are also that way, whatever it is, it could be a lot of things, uh, more comfortable and more 
more comfortable also talking about it and, and spreading that awareness. Um, it's just kind of happy feels I mean, when you see people like that out there, you know. Or like you join a stream and, and you know, the, the stream is like about page. Um, <laughs> mentions like that they're bi or pan or gay or whatever the fuck and like they mention like or they mention they just mention pronouns you know just the, the, even just the s simple fact that they they mention their pronouns or they say it's like lgbt plus whatever like rainbow community friendly is like it has a certain connotation with positivity and acceptance which is something very needed on the internet because it feels like there's so few places you can feel comfortable you know with yourself and just relax with a person and, and you know like co comforting kind of places to be every every corner you never oh my god every corner it could be a bone wheel <laughs> uh oh uh oh A little fucking piece of shit. Where'd he go? Did I kill him too? Alright. There's like four dead here. It's so light, it's so airy. It's like, it's hollow. It's made out of styrofoam. <laughs> Um, yeah, but you, you need that. Ugh. We knew it was gonna happen. I should've flipped the switch, I don't know why I didn't. We gotta go back down now, if I if I had flipped the switch, we don't have to go back down. Like, I was on a stream yesterday, um, I've kinda been on Twitch a little more recently. Um, but I was on Twitch yesterday and I found this one gal who is bi. Which is cool, because I am too. Um, not that I've ever felt, like, not accepted for that. I live in Canada, and in the, in the area I live in, um, I think it's fairly accepted. Uh, it's not something I have to, like, I, I, I never, like, came out. You know, this this doesn't really feel like a need, like there's a need to do that. You know, if someone asked, I'd be like, yeah, I'm bi. But literally everyone I've told something like that to, even even the autism thing, which which anyone close to me would know about, um, I haven't actually found that anyone cared. <laughs> which is very lucky, because I know there's a lot of people who, uh... What? Wait. What? What? That's... But... No, that's not supposed to... They're not supposed to be here. Are they? I don't think they're supposed to be here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's just bone wheels down here. You don't belong here. How did you get down here? I guess there's a lot of them, so it... They kind of glitched, like, spawned in, at the wrong angle. <laughs> That's, uh... Never seen that before. They're not supposed to be here, right? Like, I feel like I have to be wrong about that, but... I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be here. Get out of here, you bone son of a bitch! Um, oh yeah, I was talking about the, the, the gal, I joined her, her stream. Right, uh, she, uh, I, I think when I joined, 
Um, she asked me how to pronounce my name because it was, it was kind of a smaller stream. Like, not small, but kind of small enough to where she was interacting with everyone. Like, her, her thing was that she she read every message and she's very interactive. That was kind of the main thing was that it was very interactive. Um, and that's the kind of thing that she wanted to do. Let's have, like, kind of a very welcoming community, which is... Holy shit. Which is nice. Um, but I, I... I knew that she was, like, bi, and she... In, in the about page, she, like, uh... Mentioned her pronouns, so I, I specified mine. Um... It's like he, him, I guess. And she like, uh, she she like thanked me for letting her know because that was something that was important to her. Um, and then she she actually directed me to this. Um, there's this like browser extension you can install for Twitch where you can enter in your pronoun, like enter in your account and then your pronoun, and then other people who have the app installed can see your pronouns. And you can see theirs. Um, you don't have to have the app installed for yours to be displayed, though. Um, you just won't see it. But others will if they have it. Um, so I did. I you know, I know that because I installed it. But I thought that was, that was really cool. And it was just... I don't know. It was just a nice thing to see around. It's the kind of community I'm attracted to. I've thought about streaming as well. Um, kind of see how this goes first, because, like I said, this is the first game recording I've done since I was uh, 15. And even then, I didn't really do it much. I haven't really done, like, game recordings with my mic, like, as a thing, very much, since I was... 13. No, actually, the last time I made a recording, well, okay, the last time I made a recording with my voice was when I was 15, but the last time I did anything was last year, but it was a stream. I, I did do a few streams. Um, they're not public on the channel. I don't have anything public at the moment, but maybe I'll on private, some of them. So many wheels. Have to find the way up again. Oh god. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm attracted to streaming because of the community aspect, where you're playing a game and it's kind of like you're doing with other people and you're all kind of hanging out. You know, I could invite friends of mine um, and then whoever else, like we could all kind of be there together and that would be cool. But uh, it doesn't enable me to cut things out if embarrassing things happen or if I, like if I take too long on a boss, like it's not even like super embarrassing things, just... You know, like, I want to be able to cut stuff out, and I feel a little more comfortable when I know, like, anything I say, like, I'm the only one hearing it right now, and I can cut it out before I upload. I feel a lot more comfortable. Like, at the moment, I feel, like, fairly relaxed. Um, but I know if I did a stream, it would be a lot more tense for me, because I remember last time, I wasn't, like, super tense, but I wasn't as... Fuck you as relaxed as I feel at the moment, and I don't think if I started a stream now, I could just, like, chill out for an extended period of time. Um, there's also the audio issue that I was having earlier. I don't know how I'd remedy that. And then uh, there's the fact that I like to get up every hour, hour and a half, and I can't just pause the recording. It's not really ideal for streams. These guys are fun. I really like these models. Very, very cool.
my squishy noises. Uh, but I'm open to it. It's 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 possible. If I had a more comfortable chair that I could sit in for a pretty extended period of time, it would be more possible. I would consider it. We'll see. Fuck. I've leveled up a lot, haven't I? I was like 51 at the beginning. Yeah, I'm 64 now. 64 years old. Still an epic gamer. Yeah, that. How do I get that? Who knows? Um. Fuck, what was I going to say? I remember. Have I been up here? Ooh. What is that? What is down here? Oh, wait. Oh no, this is the same thing. I never even saw this. I went back here, but I didn't see the ladder. Yeah, that's a lot more direct. Potentially more dangerous, however. Alright, I should get up. 